friends. It's Ro, welcome back. I just had to shut the dishwasher because I wasn't thinking and it was making so much noise in the background. So hopefully you can hear me okay now. Today we're doing a top secret vlog Shh, that you guys get to join me on. It is Adam's first Valentine's Day home from prison in over 20 years. We love celebrating each other. We love celebrating Valentine's Day. We love celebrating love. Last year, I made a video all about all of the gifts that he was able to send me home from prison throughout the years that he was incarcerated and we were together. So I'll pop that video up there, but it's the first time that I get to do this for him in real life. And it just so happens that he has to work all day Saturday the 13th. We're celebrating 213. You tell me in the comments below why 213 is a significant number for us. We usually celebrate Valentine's Day on, no, we don't ever usually celebrate Valentine's Day on any other day other than when the mail came before in the past, but we decided to celebrate it this year. So it works out in my favor that he'll be working all day. He's doing a seminar, some sort of training that he's giving at work. And I think it's an eight hour day. So that gives me all day to be able to prepare this for him. What I'm gonna do for him, I have no freaking idea. So that's where this video comes into play. You guys get to follow along in real time. Join me on how I'm gonna do this, what my ideas are, how I'm gonna hide all this crap from him when I do figure out what I'm gonna do, and we'll go from there. If you're interested in a fun secret vlog together, please keep watching. So my day today so far consisted of, I had to work from home and then I did a quick workout. I ate, I showered. I'm sitting here not doing my makeup like I'm supposed to be doing, but that's what I'm doing. And I figured I would make the intro to this video, talk to you guys a little bit while I'm doing my makeup, give you my ideas and we will hit the road together from here. A couple of weeks ago, we went to the outlets because your girl is growing out of her workout leggings. The ones I'm wearing are size small and actually they're kind of hurting me right now. So as we were looking, he fell in love with one of those button down shirts that has the hole for cufflinks. He was saying, because he's starting to do these professional seminars now, he's training for them and he's working with professionals that he wants one of those shirts and he wants some cufflinks. So now this like pops into my head while I'm in the store. I'm like, ooh, Valentine's Day. Not trying to be like giving it away, but I started asking him questions like, well, which kind of cufflinks do you like? Do you like these with the knots? Do you like the long ones? Do you like tie clips? Just curious. And he told me he doesn't like tie clips so much, but he does like any kind of cufflinks. And he liked this one shirt from Brooks Brothers from the outlet that was like way on sale. I just ignored it, played it off. The next day I had to return a belt, a dress belt that he got for only $20, but it didn't fit him or it didn't look right. I don't remember, but I had to return it at Nordstrom Rack. So I go there and because he had paid on his credit card, they wouldn't give me back cash. They would, and I didn't have the credit card on me. So they could only give me back store credit. I said, that's fine. Cause in my head, I was going to look for cufflinks and a shirt. And I did, and they didn't have anything there. Go back to the car, and it dawned on me that he had gotten my engagement ring size at Zales. You guys ask me all the time, by the way, side note, why I don't wear my engagement ring. I work from home, and I film from home so often that I don't even think about putting it on. I wear it mostly when we go out. Like the other night, we went out to dinner. I looked so cute. First time ever that I showed off my bump. I'll put a picture of it right there because I thought I looked like hot. I was feeling myself and it was the very first time that I felt kind of decent going out pregnant while I've been kind of in my head about gaining weight. So that's why I don't wear my wedding ring. But I thought about it and I'm like, oh, I bet you they have really nice cufflinks there. So I Googled, they were actually having an online sale and I got him some cufflinks with his initials engraved in them. Wife of the year, hello. The website said that the cufflinks weren't going to arrive until February 12th. I mean, it's cutting it close, but it is what it is at this point. I don't really have many options. I got a great deal. Let's just go for it. So on that Friday night that I was getting ready to go out, to go to dinner with him, which was only February, what's today? Nine, eight, seven, six. It was the fifth. I leave the house. He was at work. I was meeting him at the restaurant. There was the package on the front porch, thank God, because it's from Zales. So I threw it in my car. I had a bag with me with all my clothes that I was gonna change into workout clothes because I didn't want to be in the gym in over the knee boots 
and short little dress. Threw the Zales bag in my workout bag and then when I got home, I hid it in one of my drawers, like underneath my clothes. He would never go look and see that. He's no reason to go in there. So now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on a mission together to the outlets and we're going to get that shirt. And that's gonna be his gift. The other day I was at Target, I had to grab a supplement or vitamins or something and I grabbed a card while I was there. Side note, pregnant girl problems. I literally got to the card aisle and had to pee so bad that I just grabbed the first card that I saw that was for Valentine's Day from a woman to a man and was like, this is gonna be it. No idea what the card says, no idea if it's any good, no idea if it's even relevant to us or our relationship, but your girl had to go to the bathroom and that was the most pressing thing in the moment. And I had merchandise with me, so I had to pay first, wait in line, trials and trips. So that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna head to Target because I want to get some stuff to decorate the house. I want to get a table runner and just a couple of things. And then today's only Tuesday, so we can't get food yet. But I called him and I was like, listen, what do you want to do for Valentine's Day? Do you want me to make reservations at our favorite Italian spot? Which, by the way, the Jersey Shore cast ate at this place. Our waiter told us last time we were there. I'll vlog next time we're there. It's such authentic real incredible Italian food. Shout out to my girl Kylie who came and visited me from California and brought me like all of this professional makeup. Oh, I'm just obsessed with it, obsessed with her. Love you girl. So like, do you want me to cook? You wanna stay home? Cause originally he said he didn't wanna go anywhere. He wanted to stay home, but that's before we found that restaurant. Or do you want me to make reservations for us if they have a reservation for Saturday night? And he's like, totally up to you. I'll do whatever you wanna do, you decide. I think I'm gonna cook. I think what I'm gonna do is decorate the house, have it all done for him, like some candles, some cute decorations. I was gonna make some crab legs with butter, like garlic butter sauce, and maybe I'll make him a steak. The only thing is, I think steak, unless it's grilled, is gross, and we're not allowed to have grills. They have grills down by the pool, but it's locked and closed because it's February. <laughs> Who knew it got cold in the desert in the winter. I will keep saying it because I never believed that this would happen. But anyway, I'm not gonna keep you guys hanging. Uh, those are my plans. Oh, and I need to look for, look at these shoes, girls. I need to look for a new pair of sneakers while I'm out because these have coffee stains all over them. I wanna wear that black dress I was wearing with those high boots with sneakers to the doctor tomorrow because I think that'll be a really cute little outfit. Yes, the places where I get dressed up to go nowadays are the doctor's appointments for my little man because <laughs> your girl doesn't go anywhere except for out to dinner every once in a while with Adam. So there it is, there's that. I'm just having fun hanging out with you guys today, enjoying this shh, top secret Valentine's Day surprise for my honey. I was gonna post this before Valentine's Day, but then duh, I just said what I got for him. So that's not gonna happen. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Mwah. Okay, this is the look. I literally texted my sister and I was like, is this still a look or is this over? And she's like, no, you look adorable, that's a look. I don't know if I wanna wear this bag and be matchy matchy. Sorry about the washing machine in the background. I had to turn it back on. Or if I wanna do a crossbody. Oh, what's cuter? I don't know. You see, I still have my affirmations on the mirror. We'll figure it out. It's not really the biggest of deals. I think I might wanna go with I we'll see. Anyway, heading out. Mm. You've arrived. Okay, before we go in, I'm gonna have a little snack. We don't leave home <laughs> without snacks anymore. It's about 3.40 and the last time I ate was about noon. So little man's getting a little hungry and I decided to go with the crossbody. It looks really cute. And then also one more thing before we go inside. I think this mask looks adorable. It's from Walmart. But also one of my friends gave me this and it is a game changer lifesaver. You guys need it. It goes underneath your mask and it's so you don't get makeup on your mask. All the makeup girls apparently swear by this, but also I think it's gonna help me not break out. Look at the disgusting inside of this mask. Can you see it? Side note, there's a man sitting in his car right in front of me. He's probably waiting for his wife to shop. What a nice man, but he's looking at me like, you crazy, what are you doing? I'm vlogging, it's 2021, hello. It's got little slides. You could slide it right in 
to there or to there, depending on how you like it or from the bottom up, however you want it. For me, it goes like this. Put your mask on and you're golden. I'm gonna link this below, it's super cheap. I don't know how much cause she gave it to me, but she swears by it. I wore it for the first time today. Game changer, you guys. My makeup looks great. Who knew? Me and baby C are gonna enjoy our little snack. Just some homemade guac and some pretzel thins. I've been living on these things. Can't get enough salt lately. And then we're gonna go in and shop. Mm. I did a really good job with this guacamole. Mm -mm -mm. When my niece was a baby, she used to dance when she likes her food. We joke that she came out of the womb dancing. She's so cute. She's such a good little dancer. She belongs on Broadway. She's got a great voice. Hi, Lex. Shout. I miss you. When we would give her bread or like ice cream, she would like dance when she ate her food. It was so cute. And I noticed when I've been pregnant, since I've been pregnant and started really enjoying my food after the sickness part of it passed, girl, I dance when I eat now. Side note number two. Louis Vuitton inspired wallet from Amazon for like $14. Oh, I get so many compliments on it. So while I was just switching it into my crossbody bag, because that's the look we decided to go for, I wanted to show you. Okay. I'm going to put on this little masky thing. We're going to head into the store. <laughs> decorations, the gift, gift wrap. I had to get this all in while he is at work. Let's start with his gifts. I told you yesterday that I got him cufflinks. I got them at Zales. Let's show you. Okay, let's show you guys. Just cufflinks that say his initials. I don't want to take them out of the packaging, but that's them. And then I got, I'll leave this in the little wrapping, but I got him a white button down dress shirt with the cufflink holes from Books, Books, no, Brooks Brothers outlet where he wanted it from. Oh, and I asked him if they had a gift box. She said, I could sell you a gift box. She was not the nicest lady. I'll tell you what happened. I walked in and I said, hi, do you have the shirts with cufflinks? holes for couplings and she's like what size like I was bothering her making her do her job and I said he's a 15 and a half I know this because I've gone shopping with Adam a million times for work clothes and she said what about sleeve length and I'm like I don't know I've never heard him talk about sleeve length I've only ever seen him pick up a shirt see 15 and a half and be fine with it and so she's like well I can't give it to you unless I know the sleeve length and she was giving me such an attitude are you giving a hormonal jersey girl attitude so I said to her, well, he's 6'4", he's very tall. Does that help? I was being nice. And she's like, no, I need to know the sleeve length. I said, can you return stuff here? And she was like, yeah. And I said, how about you give me your best guess? She said, well, call him and ask him. And I was like, it's a gift. And she goes, oh. I said, well, can you return stuff here? She said, yeah, like, duh. And I was like, duh, right back. Like, well, why don't you give me your best guess? And if it doesn't work for him, we'll return or exchange it. She said, okay, well, what color? I said, white. She's like, you're just gonna get him one white one. That's all I need, give it to me. She must've been having a bad day. Did I just break this box? Oh Lord. Your girl don't do fancy. Can someone come over and wrap a gift for me? Am I ruining this? Good thing I just bought tape at the dollar store. Does this go up like this? What's happening here? They charge you $4 for fancy boxes that I don't even know how to make them work. I'm gonna have to call my GBF on FaceTime and he's gonna have to talk me through this. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing with that box. That they charged me $4 for, who charges for gift boxes? Okay. And I was telling you guys, I ran into Target and I had to pee so bad, I bought a card. This is the card. It says, your heart is my home. And then on the inside it says, next to you is where I always wanna be, happy Valentine's Day, my love. Thank God it's a good card, thank God it works. I was gonna try to wrap this all today and hide it behind my dresser do you think you can hide something from a man that lived in jail for 30 years? I mean, 20 years. 
he's not looking behind the dresser. That's what I was gonna do, and now I can't because I don't have to be freaking bucks. Then I went to Dollar Store. I just got a whole bunch of stuff to decorate. Your totes amazing. I got this because I'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries for him, sugar free. I got this to put his gifts in, your totes amazing, because don't think I'm not gonna make him reuse that for lunch. <laughs> I got this cute little sign for the front door. Happy Valentine's Day. This is all from Dollar Tree, just in case you guys want to know. Sponges and hairspray. Hair clips because I want to blow out my hair. Saw this on Pinterest. I got wood clothespins and twine. And then we're going to hang these red and pink hearts behind the table. Oops. Pink rose petals because they didn't have red, but we'll put those on the table, maybe on the bed. Red napkins to decorate the table, saw it on Pinterest. We got Valentine's Day tissue paper. I might wind up wrapping his gifts with this because I couldn't find wrapping paper. Parchment paper for my chocolate covered strawberries. Scotch tape to wrap the gifts. Oh, I got this plate at the dollar store for the chocolate covered strawberries. It's not very fancy, but I had one of these in New Jersey and I used it for everything. You guys know me with my recipes and all my fun posts on Instagram. So this makes food porn look better. If you want, it's row underscore Clausen. Follow me on Instagram. I would love that. You can see all the other behind the scenes stuff of my life, my workouts, my food, my pregnancy, my outfits. Adam brought his mug that he made in prison into the office. So he said he needed another mug at home. So I just bought him this one that I'll wrap up and make it from baby Clausen for him. I think that's all we've got. We are in a sea of Valentine's decor. You guys know me cheesy as they come. That's that for now. I have to hop in the shower. We will decorate and we'll cook food all together. Adam just left. So it is seven in the morning. We've got a lot ahead of us to do. Okay. It is Saturday morning. Look at, I've said that this has turned into like a pregnancy drugstore on my nightstand, but that is for another time. Okay. I hid the table runner in here. I I just think it's been keeping me dressed during eternity clothes. I here's all the decorations. Let's get started. We climb the greatest heights. Jump down and have a fight. And that's all we'll ever like. But that can never change my mind. When it's good, it's amazing. When it's bad. We hung that earlier together. I've got the votives. One of our neighbors has COVID, very, very good friend of ours. So we're making lasagna and some salad and some garlic knots for them too, along with making dinner for V-Day. So I'll be back. Hello, my love. I can't believe how nonstop this has been all day. Wow. Whew. I should have known because, you know, family parties and stuff, but just dropped off the lasagna salad. Uh, what else did I bring them? Lasagna salad, garlic knots, I cheated, I bought a bag of them. And you probably can't hear me over this, so let me shut it off. And chocolate covered strawberries. So that's done, thank God, because I put it in the Brooks, I was trying to get it out of the house because I put it in the Brooks Brothers bag and that's where I got his gift. And we've never bought anything at the Brooks Brothers outlet before, so he's gonna know, you know? So this is what we've got now going on. We've got the strawberries, salad, dressing, more strawberries, cause I want to use that thing. His feta for this lentil salad. And then, wait, let me show you what I did. I put the candles on top of the rose petals. Oh, and I also did the bed. So that's where we're at now. Oh, and then for us, I saved his lasagna for tomorrow. I'm gonna do, I did the scallops. They're under there, you can't see them. Sa scallops, shrimp, and then I'm doing um, sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna add some spinach and it's gonna be a fun day. Okay, he just called me. He's just leaving the office now, so I have about 25 minutes. So I literally set the clock for 20 minutes so I can light all the candles before he gets home and they don't drip too much. <laughs> I love you. Mwah. Here's my play by play. We climb the greatest heights. Jump down and have a fight. And that's all we'll ever like. But that can never change my mind. When it's good, it's amazing. When it's bad, 
excited. <laughs> was this the... Who's the biggest mug in the store? I was store? gonna say... <laughs> you couldn't find anything bigger than this? It was the biggest one they had. Nice. I was trying to find dad mugs, but... This is perfect. And to go with it... Apparently that's like the strongest. Death Wish coffee. Alright. Beautiful. Love it. That's a great dad gift. You might need to save the strong coffee for when he's here. So which should I open first? The big one first. What about the card? Open the card first. Should I open the card first or should I open it last? Whatever you want. Hmm. It doesn't matter the order of the card or the gifts. Well, how about I open the gifts and then I save the card for last? Okay. I like it. Because it's generally the card that gets me emotional. Uh oh. The gifts, obviously, I love. You've been busy, huh? Now, is there such thing as sleeve length? The lady told me she was not the nicest. She's like, what's sleeve length? And I said, I don't know. I was like, he's 6'4", does that help? She's like, no, call him. I was like, it's a gift. So I was like, well, can you return here? And she said, yeah. I'm like, well, can you give me your best guest and then he can return or exchange it? So I have the receipt. If I am confident whatever you went with is gonna be right because you've always been right thus far. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. And, mm, it was a giveaway. <laughs> I mean, if I had to put two and two together, and I it would make, make four. A, <laughs> I'm gonna make a guess at what is small and square, and uh -huh. and might, maybe, maybe not. What the? How far in, down into this rabbit hole are we going? Oh, it is. Wow, it is couplings. Look closely. Oh my. And they have my initials on them. Wow, these are beautiful. Oh man. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. That is an incredibly thoughtful gift. And even though I shouldn't have worn white today, if I would have had this, I definitely would have worn this today. I love that I can give you more than a magazine or a book. <laughs> and I'm grateful that I'm at a place where I am more comfortable receiving because I can see the joy on your face, how happy you are. And although I haven't always been comfortable receiving, I've learned the value of what it means to be you know, gracious and appreciative. So thank you. You're welcome. Pretty amazing. Just like you. Mm, your heart is my home. Next to you is where I always want to be. Happy Valentine's Day. My love. I don't know if I should read this out loud. You can. Yeah. Hey, handsome. Sometimes if I stop and think about the past six months and all of the miracles and the happy ever after, happily ever after, we always believed in, I catch my breath. It's all because of you. I can't wait to see what's in store next. I love you, lots. Always, bro. Love you too. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. Let's go.